Hi there guys, Michael Neff, Director of Gear Sports. Uh, again, we're going to do another video here on shaft. This is the sixth out of seven videos we're doing and it's on shaft droop. The shaft droop is basically the amount in millimeters that the shaft is either uh, drooping down or at the backswing, top of the backswing, it'll be the opposite way. Um, and that would be shown in negative. But at, at uh, positive droop means that that's basically as you look down the line here, you'll see how much the shaft is drooping. And if you look here, this is Lexi Thompson at address. There's no shaft droop at address. And then by the time she gets to impact, she raises the handle quite a bit. And then that the center of gravity of the head, center of mass of the head is always going to line up with the center of the shaft. So that's where we get the shaft droop. Now, the more the shaft, the softer the golf club. If I soften this golf club, this is an X85X. If I soften this golf club, it's going to droop more, which is going to flatten the lie angle, which is going to open the face more. So understanding how much the shaft is drooping is going to definitely affect um, where the ball's being hit on the face, what the lie angle and the face angle and the loft are doing. So you do have to pay attention to this number. You'll see here that we're always going to be looking for more droop than deflection. Almost every tour player that we've measured that loves their golf club has much lower deflection than droop. In this case, uh, Curtis has a lower deflection ratio than her than his sister does with the exact same club. So this is really a, a very good uh, ratio here. Most tour players are in a lower ratio, but um, if I wanted to move the droop number, so let's say I wanted to have less shaft droop, and I wanted to, um, I would have to stiffen the golf club, or I would have to keep my player from raising the handle so much. So that's basically how you would affect the shaft droop. Um, and that, that's going to definitely affect the lie angle and the face angle. So like Nick Price here, um, Nick Price lie angle was like 10 degrees upright with very similar driver, similar lie angle driver and everything. And his handle, he doesn't raise his handle as much and he didn't hit nearly have as much droop. He had like 10 millimeters less droop. So Lexi Thompson has a much slower club head speed than her brother, raises the handle more, and um, is going to create more droop. He leans the shaft forward though, so that's, you can't really, um, he's affecting it a little differently. So, but in this term, um, and from what you're using it uh, in gears for, uh, how you can best utilize this information is um, how much you move the handle upward will affect how much shaft droop is and, and obviously the dynamic of the shaft. If it's too soft or if it's really soft, it's going to droop even more. And if you want that, then to get to the middle of the club, then great. But you usually have to be careful because the softer you go in the golf club and the more droop you get, you're also going to get more deflection. And when you get lots of droop and deflection, that's when it's really hard to hit the same spot over and over again. And so you you want to manage this droop. You definitely want to have less more droop than deflection at all times. And you, you really want to, um, if, you, if you want to change this number, you have to do it through instruction and or club fitting, stiffer golf club, or change how they move the handle. Anyways, that's the short video on shaft droop.